Hey guys, it's Cameron here with Emerson Property Management. Every week, I bring you tools, tactics, strategies, lessons I've learned, things that have helped me build up a sizable rental portfolio in about two years and now manage that portfolio. Today, I'm taking a question from a subscriber. A couple, it's, it's quite long. There's kind of two or three parts here. It's regarding proof of funds when you're submitting an offer. So, is there a way to get around providing proof of funds when putting a house under contract? I know when dealing with the FISBO, I know when dealing with a FISBO, they may not ask, but oftentimes realtors ask for it. I ask this question because I'm still young and do not have the money to show I can pay cash for the deal. Is it possible to, possible to partner with somebody who has the money um, so realtors can see their proof of funds and give them a percentage of the deal? Maybe a family member or a friend with lots of money. Also, I was curious if telling people that I'm a wholesaler would end up getting me around proof of funds if I were to agree to a shorter purchase agreement. I'm doing a shorter agreement. I'm assuring I have a cash buyer ready to go, but doing a shorter agreement, I'm assuring I have a cash buyer ready to go. Do you think this would help avoid proof of funds? So this is RJ. RJ, great, great, great question. This comes up a lot. I didn't have the money when I started out either, right? When I was buying these properties, I was young, you know, clean, clean cut, looked like a child, you know, 23, 24, 25 years old, trying to buy, you know, convince somebody that I'm going to give them $100,000 cash, $200,000 cash for their house. So regarding the first piece, the proof of funds, yes, 100% you can partner with somebody. That's always what you want to do. And I've got another video, you can check it out up, up here here regarding wholesaling and, and talking about that and being honest about being a wholesaler. You know, just tell them, I, I am a whole, I'm a wholesaler and I have a partner. That doesn't mean I'm just going to go send you off, uh, make some money on, on, on flipping the deal. That means I have this network of investors that I know that I'm going to basically market your property to or partner with to get the deal closed. So yes, I might not have it. And sometimes, you know, you might say, hey, I might want to keep it as a rental. I got to run the numbers. I got to see. But, you know, I have a network of partners or, or partners that I work with. And, you know, once you get in this game, you'll see that you'll work with three to five, maybe a dozen people majority of the time. You know, once, you know, I know people that have that have investor lists of 10, 20, 30, 40, 100,000 emails, and they still only work with like 10 people. So you can say, I have a group of partners that I work with. I, I know one, I'm pretty confident one, this meets one of their criteria. So if you want to see their proof of funds, not a problem. If, um, if that is a problem, uh, if you want to see mine, that's going to be a problem because I go out, how I add value, and this is what you tell them and it's honest, how I add value is I go out and I look for the deal. I'm spending the money on marketing. I'm coming out and talking to you because for every person that says yes, there's 5, 10, 15, 20 people that say no. And that's just the truth of the matter. You're out spending your time trying to find these deals. So that's how you add value to the transaction. So you can tell them that. That's not lying. That's not dishonest. And I think a lot of people see value in that, in, in the honesty of just having that conversation with somebody. So I think that answered both. One, do you need proof of funds? No, you don't, but somebody's got to have it. You can have it from a friend, a family member, a part, uh, an actual um, private money investor or whoever you're going to end in buy with. You should also know that they're legit. So you should get proof of funds from them anyways. And just tell them ahead of time, hey, you know, Joe Smith, Joe or Jane Smith, will you guys send me, you know, 200,000, whatever your market is, 200,000, $300,000 proof of funds. So I know that what your criteria that you told me that when I find a deal, I can submit this as mine or as, my, you know, as us working together. So they're confident. It gives you confidence that they're actually going to close and it gives your, your seller confidence. So that's one. Yes, 100% partner. It's a fantastic way to do it, whether that's private money, a family, friend. I've used all those strategies. I've got another video somewhere up here around uh, private money lending and, and uh, ways, to, ways to get in. Um, and then as a wholesaler, yes, I always think it's, it's better to be honest. Um, always be honest about what your intentions are. Don't try to manipulate them and say, yeah, act like you've got you know, all this money, your Mr. Moneybags, and oh, I'm 25 years old, and I'm, I'm buying all these houses, and I got a million, blah, blah, blah. Just build relationships with people, be honest, and you'll come out ahead. Because I'm telling you right now, if you get that reputation, and you flim flam a couple people, then I can guarantee you that they'll tell everybody, and then they tell everybody, and then everybody's on a high alert. So it actually makes the job, when you're, when you're more genuine people, even if it doesn't work out, you're not going to tarnish your name. You're going to allow 
maybe it doesn't work out for them, that seller, and then you come back and they referred you to somebody somebody else who's having trouble maybe trying to get out of foreclosure or has a tenant that just evicted, uh, they had to evict and the house is trash and they just want to sell it. You know, there's all these options. So be honest, genuine. I would never advise you to lie about anything. And I think honestly, one, it's the, the right way to do it. But two, I honestly think that leads to more deals. So you're kind of getting the double benefit there. Okay, RJ, I hope that answered your question. If it did, let me know. If it didn't, let me know below. Sorry it took so long, man. I know it's been probably a month or so since you asked this. I'm trying to get to all these questions. Please ask the questions. I love doing this. I enjoy giving back to the community. And if you guys found this valuable, please share it. I appreciate y'all. Thank you.